Thanks, Megan. Welcome, everybody. As noted, I'm going to be talking about interface extension today. Um, a few different techniques, actually. I'll be focusing in on one in particular, um, which uses ELN. So my name is Joel Wilkes. I'm an informatics consultant here at CSALS. My college and post-grad degrees were both in biological science, although I was able to earn a certificate for bioinformatics while getting my master's degree. I went on to, after college, I went on to work at a biotech company where I was performing bench work for several years. <clears throat> I followed a similar path that you'll hear from uh, many other LIMS developers where I was doing lab work for several years, working with legacy IT controlled systems that quote unquote kind of worked. On the side, I would build quote unquote tools, which oftentimes were little more than Excel forms that would perform some task or do some calculations that covered a gap in the IT system. The legacy system was rigid and not very user friendly. And all the while the lab scientists were hoping that something better would come along, um, which would allow the users to really get the functionality out of their system that was needed. Eventually for us, the better thing did come along when the company decided to move to labware. I was identified and became involved early on with that project with planning and building the, the system which would replace the legacy one. I've been working with Labware ever since for different groups, companies, and industries. I've worked on implementations, uh, of course, process improvements to existing systems. I've gotten involved with third-party web interfacing, <clears throat> custom instrument integration, and so on. I've worked in versions six and seven, and I've also been involved with systems using the pharma and clinical templates. Additionally, I've had experience working with companies who've used many of the add-on modules. Um, some of the lesser known ones that I've had experience working with include uh, Workflow Manager and Formulation Manager. And of course, I've had experience with Labware's integrated ELN solution. For the agenda today, I'm going to briefly talk about what I mean by the term extension and, and what the benefits are. <clears throat> I'm gonna spend some time talking about three different techniques that can be used to make extension of user interfaces possible. I'm going to focus in on one of the techniques in particular involving the use of the ELN interface. Because the ELN interface may be something which some of you don't currently use, I'm going to spend several minutes giving an overview of how ELN works within the labware structure and how it's possible to configure and use this technique. <clears throat> as part of this deeper dive into using ELN as your main interface, I will be covering some information about form control and, and how it can be used. And after all that, even if you decide that you wouldn't want ELN to be your main interface to all of your system functionality, I'll give an example of how it could be used just to replace maybe one particular interface in a way that makes data entry more useful. So what do I mean by extension? I'm talking about extending the functionality that is available to be used on screen. <clears throat> I'm specifically referring to consolidation of the user interfaces or UIs that we have to use as we navigate our way through our labware process. Uh, in your case, do you have a streamlined interface like the picture on the left where you can perform a lot of functionality off of one window? Or are you jumping around between multiple interfaces in a decentralized fashion? By the way, maybe it's okay that you're doing that. Some of these Interfaces have really complex functionality that just doesn't make sense to move elsewhere. But in some situations like this, it could be really helpful. Oops. So what are the benefits of consolidating your interfaces? Um, there are a large number of interfaces available in a base lab or system. Modules add even more. Here's a small example of some of the more common interfaces. Batch manager, sample window, lot manager, request manager, order manager, inventory manager. All of a sudden, I've got too many managers. Now, obviously this is dependent on your particular usage and not everybody uses the same set of these quote unquote managers. 
some systems use relatively few of these UIs. On the other end of the spectrum, there are companies that like to maximize the functionality of their system. And this could result in a lot of bouncing around between the UIs. Fortunately, some of these interfaces already come with some level of crossover to other ones. For example, <clears throat> you don't necessarily have to leave the project manager window in order to add a sample to your project. There's a button for logging samples right there. Yeah, it doesn't actually directly add a sample as easily as you might want it to. It actually just ends up bringing up the interfaces for logging samples, which would be the sample window and test editor window but at least you don't have to search around for those interfaces on the main screen. But what about adding a new sample from the lot manager window? There's not something that's already built in for that. If it's not a complex step that I need to accomplish, in other words, if I don't require any custom functionality that only exists on a specific UI, wouldn't it be nice to be able to, to do that without having to run over to the other interface? If I just want to do something like adding samples or adding tests or maybe even doing result entry. Do I really need to go to three different interfaces? What if I wanna be able to do all this from my basic starting interface? Doesn't matter which one it is. Could be lot manager or it could be something else. Here's where extension can play a role. <clears throat> so how it's possible.